What's going on YouTube? It's Python Bridge 4 Games. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Paul Ruiz's third place team from the Invitational uh, on the ladder and just see how we do with it. Uh, I really enjoy Xerneas teams. I think Xerneas is an incredible Pokemon. I like that he ended up using Substitute instead of Dazzling Gleam. I thought that was kind of a neat nuance of the team. Um, I like the Amoongus set with the Grass Knot for Kyogres. Uh, obviously, Grassy Glide and stuff like that on the Rillaboom. Um, Volcarona is an interesting Pokemon in this format. Uh, I don't think it gets enough credit, uh, but I think it's really, really good. And then Incineroar and Urshifu just doing their thing. Uh, the Choice Scarf Urshifu is interesting. But, uh, I, I think it could work. Um, so yeah, let's just hop in and, uh, see what we can do. Uh, yeah, it's not our team, it's public knowledge. I'm sure if someone sees the team, they know what it is. So, all right. We are not using that Rayquaza team. We are using this Xerneas team. All right. Hopefully improve our record here. Uh, I had a little bit of a bad stretch, but I'm hoping to right the ship here. It happens to everybody, though. I'm sure everybody goes on losing streaks. Alright, we got Jim Bob. Jim Bob is packing Ice Rider. This looks very hard trick room. Um, Alright, so... I'll lead the Incineroar. I like the Volcarona. I want to bring Xerneas. Um, we double fire have Rillaboom and Xerneas in the back. Kind of like the Urshifu though too. Like I guess that's an issue. Um, I'm just gonna go with it. See what happens. Uh, I can see, ooh, I don't want to leave Incineroar into that Zapdos. Yikes, this is gonna be bad. That's a mistake. I should have never led Incineroar. In a million years. Okay, Sneasel Mimikyu, thank god. Focus stuff. Yep, yep, yep. So, they're just trying to set Trick Room. That's all they're trying to do. Um, can't fake out the Mimikyu. I will parting shot, Mimikyu, and I will just attempt to fiery dance the Mimikyu just to pop the disguise. Yep, take out, that's fine. Just to pop the disguise. They're gonna get a trick room up probably. They're probably expecting me to try to KO something. Yep, and then they trick room, which overall is okay. Um, let's take a look. So here, I 
We can just Flare Blitz and... Uh, fiery Dance? Sure, we'll do that. Yep, we'll draw Sneasel. There's the Zap. Screech. Okay. Awesome, we get a burn. Which helps a ton. <clears throat> so we're just gonna flare blitz the Zapdos again and fiery dance again. Shadow Sneak. Okay, I didn't do too much. Wow. That's gotta be like Iron Ball Zapdos or something like that. Like, for sure. Uh, or did I see, like, a room service or something that I just, like, didn't quite, you know, see I had? Like, that, that happened? Are going to we gotta check trick room turns here. There's two turns of trick room left. So we are going to <clears throat> we'll flare blitz and fake out the Calyrex. That's what I thought was going to happen. Uh, what I should have probably done is... Um, I should have just switched out to the Xerneas. And then... <clears throat> and then after that, I should have... Just swap the Incineroar in for the Rillaboom. Uh, I'm not cycling my my Intimidates very well. Um, I really should. Um, let's see. This is the last turn of Trick Room. Parting shot, and I think I just got a grassy glide to Calyrex, and I don't love it. Glacial Lance, really strong move. I really needed an Intimidate there, and I'm not going to get it at this point. Really, really unfortunate. Oh, I guess I get the... Okay. So us going before the Sneasel is amazing. And it's White Herb. Okay. Let's see what this Sneasel is going to do. Triple X. Hit one time. Alright, so we get this Incineroar in with a solid 1 HP. 
Um, Sneasel can't be faked out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I think I gotta try to Geomancy. If I try to Geomancy and they like taunt or something, it's not great. They could just try to set Trick Room too with the. I'm gonna Geomancy and I'll fake out the Calorex. I figured that was going to happen, but I'd rather be sure. Okay, they triple Axel. That was a boatload of damage. So, we gotta try to hit this Calyrex. And then Incineroar, I think, just has to go for the Flare Blitz. Uh, I guess this is a, a part of not having Dazzling Gleam that I don't like. I wonder if I could... I wonder if I could just Moonblast. I bet that Sneasel is... Focus Sash. I gotta Moonblast the Calyrex and then... Flare Blitz the Sneasel. Okay, so we take down the Calyrex. Needs a triple axle. And they get three hits. And I guess we see if this thing's focus ash or not. Honestly, this just goes back to that turn. I think it just goes back to the turn where we didn't switch out that Incineroar for the Rillaboom because then the Rillaboom should have still been alive. Like, we won this, but we really didn't deserve to win it, uh, in all honesty. So, I mean, it's good we got the win, but we could have definitely played a lot better. All right, we will play again. Moving up in the world, which is good. We broke a losing streak, which is also good. I went on like a four game losing streak or something like that. All right, got another battle. Uh, another Ice Rider. Okay. Um, so I like leading the Incineroar into this. And then... Uh, let's see... I don't mind the Urshifu. Urshifu's not terrible. Um, I need the Xerneas for the Dragonite, specifically. Um... Center of Volcarona again doesn't sound terrible. And have. Do I want the Amoongus or do I want the. I want the Rillaboom and then the Xerneas. Um, I don't mind the Amoongus here, but at the same time, I would rather do something different. And then Urshifu, I just don't feel like it does enough. So. That's what I'm going to go with. Ice Rider is a tough matchup.
it's something that's not always used, but like, I understand it, it's good. I like it. So, they got the Ensign, I mean, I they have the Lele setting up terrain. Okay, Intimidate doesn't do anything. Um, I'm just gonna parting shot. Actually, I'm just gonna switch to Rillaboom and this just lowers special attack, right? Mm. I think we'll I think we'll just do that. I think we'll we'll uh what was it? Fiery dance into the to the Lele. Electroweb, yep. Rillaboom avoids. I guess this doesn't matter. I would rather the Volcarona avoid. And then Psychic into the Volcarona again. They really don't like this Volcarona. Um, I like Fake Out Switch into Incineroar here, I think. So yeah, I'm going to fake out the Aleki, and then switch into the... That seems pretty good to me. Uh, we could break a potential Sash on the Reggie Aleki if it doesn't protect. Not protect. Would you like to flinches? Do you psychic into the gorilla boom? Yeah, that's fine. So we can grassy glide the Aleki. And then I think just parting shot the Lele. Grassy glide into the Aleki. And then parting shot into the Tapu Lele. Um, with the Assault Vest, uh, Rillaboom's not really threatened by anything. Okay, so they just do that. That's fine. Grassy Glide doesn't do anything. That's fine. They're gonna Psychic again. Ooh, they got a crit. No, that wasn't a crit. It did more than the last one. So, we'll go back to the Volcarona. Um... They really targeted down that Volcarona quite a bit before. I'll glide the Aleki again, and then I think I'm going to protect the Volcarona this turn, because they targeted it down so adamantly last time. Okay, so what are they bringing in? That's a Dragonite. So, Grassy Glide doesn't do pretty much anything against Dragonite. Okay, and then they just Psychic. That's, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Uh, we are just gonna get in the Xerneas. I think it's a good time for Xerneas. 
Um, yeah. So we Geomancy, and then they don't have Rage Power. Don't love it. I guess we fiery dance the Lele. That's a lot. It doesn't do that much. Um... I find it slightly interesting that the Volcaron is slower than the Lele, but I get it, it's more supportive. So I definitely think we go after this Dragonite here, or at least the Dragonite slot. Let me see what they have potentially in the back. Uh, it's most likely Reggie Alecki and then the Ice Rider. So I think I 100% Moonblast into this, and then I think I'll just Fiery Dance into the Lele. Dream speed again. Dragonite goes away. Psychic into the Zern, I assume. We stay alive. Lele goes away, so I guess we get to see their last two right now. And Volcarona is almost back up to full, which is amazing. Alright, what you get? Obviously the Unlucky, and then it is in fact the Ice Rider. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any way The Alecky, I mean, I, I think it's more than possible considering the Alecky's base speed. Even with plus two, it's very possible it is faster. Protect, and then I'm going to Fiery Dance the Calyrex. Web. Minus one speed. You're still faster. You just use fiery dance. And it does a lot. Inflation lance. Um, I can see it doing a lot to um Volcarona. Despite the typing. Um, so I just have Incineroar in the back. Um, I'm going to Moonblast Aleki. 
and protect the Volcarona. I guess we see what kind of speed they're running. They're not running max speed on the Regieleki, which is pretty important. And then Glacial Lance will take down our Xerneas, but we have Incineroar in the back to drop its attack back down. And then we have two fire types that are faster than Calyrex, so we should be all set to go. Uh, I think I played this one a bit better. Um, not perfect, but a bit better. Right, so... Cinnaror comes out. We can just fake out Fiery Dance. And fire dance. Okay, so we get the win. So so far, I'm really liking uh, Paul Ruiz's Xerneas team here. Um, like I said in that first one, I definitely didn't play my best, but I mean, you you learn from it, and that's the important part. Um, but yeah, that, I think that'll do it for me today. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, consider ringing the notification bell so you never miss when we put up a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah.